in the 26th International Mathematical Olympiad held in Finland in 1985, problem 1 is a simple question that many beginners could solve it. Why? Let's take a look at the statistics from IMO official website. Each problem is 7 marks. The mean mark of this problem is 4.086, which is the highest among all the 6 questions. In a total of 209 contestants, 103 of them got a full mark. So what is the question about? A circle has center on the side AB of the psychic quadrilateral ABCD. The other three sides are tangent to the circle. Prove that AD plus BC is equal to AB. In the following discussion, we only need the upper semicircle. Let's see two different ways to solve it. One is by pure geometry and the other one is by trigonometry. To start with, let's rotate the two blue sides AD and BC. If the sum of length is really AB, then the two sides should meet at a single point E. This gives us a great idea to solve the problem. So we let E be a point on AB first, such that AD is equal to AE. Then our goal is to prove that BC is equal to BE. Let's construct the sides ED and EC. What we are doing here is to use the blue isosceles triangle to prove that the purple triangle is also isosceles. To do this, we will have to make use of angles. Now, we focus on the blue triangle. Let angle E equals to X. Because AD is equal to AE, so angle D is also equal to X. We can easily get that angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus 2X. Next, we are given that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Since angle C and angle A are the opposite angles, so angle C is equal to 2X. How about the condition of tangents? Let's construct the side OC. Because CB and CD are tangents to the semicircle, so OC divides angle C into two equal halves. That means both angles at point C are equal to X. At this moment, can you see something special? Let's draw the side OD. Here, angle E and angle C are both equal to X. Using converse of angles in same segment, we can say that OECD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, we go back to our original goal. Prove that the purple triangle is isosceles. So we need this purple angle. Let's call it Y. Actually, it is an exterior angle of the cyclic quadrilateral. So angle D is also equal to Y. Then we look at the tangents DA and DC. So the two angles at point D are both equal to Y. What should be the next step? Consider the green cyclic quadrilateral ABCD again. Angle B and angle D are opposite angles. So angle B is equal to 180 degrees minus 2Y. Now we arrive at the purple triangle. There's only one unknown angle C. Since the sum of angles in triangle is 180 degrees, after crossing out the same term on both sides, we get angle C is equal to Y. More importantly, this is the same as angle E. Therefore, BC is equal to BE. This completes the proof by method 1. Alright, how about the method by trigonometry? We still make use of the angles in method 1, but this time we calculate the lengths directly. We let the two points of contact as F and G, so the radius OF is perpendicular to the tangent AD. By the same reason, OG is perpendicular to BC. Let the radius of the semicircle be R. We shall look at right angled triangles. In the blue triangle, sine 180 degrees minus 2x is equal to R over OA. So OA is equal to R over sine 2x. For the other side, tangent 180 degrees minus 2x is equal to R over AF. Therefore, AF is equal to R over negative tangent 2x. Now, we look at this purple triangle. For the side CG, it is equal to R over tangent X. So, why do we need these three sides? Let's add up AF and CG, and you will see a nice result. There's a common factor R right here. Then we work on the algebra. 
apply the double angle formula for tangent 2x. Combine the two fractions, then the numerator is equal to 1 plus tangent square x. Using square identity, it is equal to secant square x. Further simplify the expression, then the denominator is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. At this point, we apply another double angle formula. It is actually sine 2x. Can you recognize this result? If we go back to the figure, you can see that it's the side OA. Indeed, we can use the same idea for the other sides. Now, consider the two red triangles. Here, DF is equal to R over tangent Y. BG is equal to R over negative tangent 2Y. And OB is equal to R over sine 2Y. Just change the angle from X to Y. Then, everything is the same. Therefore, BG plus DF is also equal to OB. Recall the problem again. The sum of AD and BC can be separated into the lengths of four line segments. Rearranging the terms, we can combine the two results together. So it is equal to OA plus OB, which is of course equal to AB. Looking for more Math Olympic questions? Check out the next video right here on the screen. I will see you there.